Hey, how are you today? Hi, guys. All right. I get up in the morning. I just sort of flop into it and go, oh, are we doing this today? All right. And then they electrocute me and we get going. I mean, they're all just, you know, horrible monster people. You know, Bloaty is more horrible than, than the others. <laughs> Uh, the piece, uh, piece is, uh, piece is nice, was written by Jonan. Uh, uh, the, is, uh, uh, the, the music portion was, uh, composed by, uh, Kevin Manthe, and then I just sang it. So I think Jonan just heard a little tune in his head in one morning when he was about ready to, you know, go and look at the sunset. No, that's in the evening. All right. I, I can I can have it every once in a while. Yes, I, I, I don't mind it as long as it's not too salty though You know you want to want to have too much sodium in your diet uh, As Jonah described it he was watching a show uh, and as some guy uh, It was uh, What which show was it it was a um, Straight eye for the something Anyways, a guy uh, like points at something and goes, this is my lupus. And then Jonan just started thinking of, this is my flupus? This is my blupus? And he got the florpus eventually. <laughs> yeah. You know what, I don't, I don't know, but I was happy, because I, I, I didn't write the show, but I was happy to see that Gaz was evolving. I mean, she's still Gaz. Don't you know? Don't get me wrong, but she was able to evolve. Like, there's a little more family dynamic that they're focusing on. I thought it was kind of cool. I, I I liked that. I mean, I don't think it's in, I don't think it's m that much of a softer edge. But there there was something more relatable with her and Div. Maybe she, you know will get something out of it in, in for herself in the end. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a big connection with Gaz and pork, like, you know, Gaz, taster of pork and all that from the old episodes. So I think Jonan brought back the ham brilliantly. I, I love the way he brought that ham in. I don't, I really don't know the answer to that. That would be a great question. Jonan, if you're watching this, why all the three letter names? Do you know the answer to that, Ricky? Why, why are there so many three letter names on Zim? My theory, I don't have it confirmed, but it's because Jonan played a lot of uh, video games and the original video games, you're, you had three, three yes. letters for your name. Yes, you yes. Know, when, you're, when you win, you type in, you know, you score or, you know, you type in, your initials, G A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You always That's write a three letter. That's I a totally good theory. Wrong, I like that theory. I'll go with that, but we don't know. We don't know what goes on inside Jonan's head. <laughs> How much pudding? Thousands and thousands of good pudding. Um, none. But. <laughs> But if I had my way, we'd have a little, yes. <laughs> uh, I would guess that some people would think that anything maniacal, hammy, and loud would make it a Richard Horvitz character. But I like to think that it's more uh, anything that has a lot of playfulness in it. I don't know. It just kind of comes out. It kind of was like a mixture of like Jonan's idea and my ideas combined. Oh, how do you know he hasn't? You won't know when it happens.
Yes, it's very funny, and Jonan is brilliant. Thank you. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this Blood Moon Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell to get notified when I release my latest videos. Follow me at Blood Moon Bobby on your favorite social media platforms to take part in polls, see my tech tips, and to hear about my video plans. Thanks for watching.